how to install your sanitary well cap. To install your well cap, you will need your sanitary well cap that you received at the workshop. Additionally, you will need a pair of wire strippers, wire cutters, new wire nuts, an impact driver with socket attachment or just an adjustable wrench. And if your well does not already have the proper size conduit for this cap, you will need one and a quarter inch piece of conduit. Disclaimer, if you do not feel comfortable performing this task, please hire a professional. Working with electric lines can be dangerous if you are not careful and follow all safety precautions. Always make sure the power is off to your pump when working on your well cap. Once you have all of your tools gathered and the breaker to your well pump turned off, follow these basic instructions on how to install your new sanitary well cap. Have fun, and if you come across any really interesting critters or their nests living in your old cap, please share the photos with the Conservation District at abby.sig at columbiaccd.org. Okay, today we're going to replace a conventional style well cap with a sanitary one. First thing you want to do is make sure your power is off, turn your breaker off. I never trust anybody, so I would recommend also checking it with a voltage meter. This one has been damaged. Good one to replace. This is what you're going to find in here. This is the kind of stuff that ends up in your drinking water. Insects, debris, chemicals, lawn fertilizers. Get that crud out of there. Spiders, ladybugs. Okay. Like I said, the power is the breaker is off. But don't ever trust anybody. Most well pumps are 220. This is the wire coming from the house. We'll double check to make sure. And we're good. Proper size conduit on here. There is a plug where the wires come up through. If you don't have any wires, if you're not using your well, if there's not a pump in it, you can let that plug in there to seal it on. Have a wiring system, you want to remove that. There's a place for your nuts to go, they'll go down. there and your safety rope. Grab your rubber suppression seal. Roughly level with the top of your well case. Then you redo the wire. So we will cut off the old ends just in case they're corroded. Strip approximately a half inch off. Trying to straighten that end out a little. I 
I'm going to put two new wire nuts on it. Most of your submersible well pumps are 220, if not all of them. There are two wire systems and three wire systems. This is a two wire system, so you won't use the ground. Got them tight. I like to spread them out. Then put your cap on. Line the holes up. We give you stainless steel bolts, washers, nuts. The washer will go on top. Start your nuts. If you take and push the nut up in the hole, just turn the bolt, they start really easy. I'm going to snug them up. Don't over tighten. No reason to over tighten. There you have it. Our workshops and this video were made possible by funding from the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection's Education Grant.